As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. Hey, Tommy, seriously, you gotta consider going into law. <sighs> what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's gonna be no problem. We got Cam on safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive the get I, I don't... Uh, <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like... Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank. We wave the gun around and leave very rich men. I'll drive. Great! A passenger! Why do I tell the group about this? Issues. Morality is the subject at hand. Let's explain exactly how free radio without commercial breaks works. We'll be right back. You're listening to V. Tommy, Hillary's taking up too much room. I am not! R2! Hey, shut up, you two, or you can get out and walk. Yeah, Hillary without us begging for money. It's the Bi-Daily Begathon here on VCPR, where we hold your favorite shows hostage until you pony up some cash. You know what's so great about VCPR? It's like a shining torch of cultural enlightenment for Vice City. In these times of darkness, when the hordes are so uneducated they can barely understand multisyllabic phrases like, clean my shoes better, Marissa, or I'll report you to the IRS, or dialectical materialism. Isn't it pleasant to have a patronizing voice on the radio? That's right, Michelle. With the way things are going under Reagan, at any moment the unwashed Huns from the Midwest could descend upon Vice City and enslave the poets and postal workers and force us to watch... For God's sakes, Bill, stop waving that thing around. Whatever. Many things in life... You... Keep driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. This is a race! Nobody move! Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. I'm gonna trash your face up, bro. What are you thinking? Oh, oh man, are you a gonna? Damn! It's a flangy 9000. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find the manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. Phil, things still sweet? Sure. Everything's real quiet. I'll break the neck. You, you're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. I said nobody move! It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. I 
told you not to touch that alarm! The SWAT team will be here any minute. I could do with some help here, Tommy! I'm taking my shot. Mike City SWAT, you are completely surrounded. Surrounded? <laughs> They're crapping themselves. Corrupt bastards. Tommy, the vault's open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place. Take cover! Subject in range. I'm taking him out. Issues. Hey guys, get in! I got you covered! Very powerful stuff in... nude boy over there or uh, working in radio. I want them to get proper jobs like being a doctor, not a patient. That is offensive. My mother understood I was special. She made me wear a bonnet as a child, and when I demanded to go to school naked, she was fine with it. After social services moved me, she would still write to me. I still remember when she kissed me goodbye. But Barry, earlier you said you discovered naturism, taking your clothes off, whatever it is in Germany. I know, but I lie a lot. Uh, I've got a lot of personal issues. Look at me. P please, Maurice, I need a hug. There's another example of immorality in this city. Public showing of affection. People think we want to see the making out and carrying on. I understand your hormones rage like... Tommy, what I tell ya? Ben Swap better watch out when Ken Paul is in town. Come on, give me a bit of slice, mate. Come on, I gotta get some new friends.
The paper plays the tune. Oh, I Certainly interesting. The issue is morality. Recently, rock artists joined together to provide famine aid to Alaska with the song Do They Know It's the Fourth of July? Critics complain it's immoral to meddle in the affairs of other peoples and cultures. Pastor Richards... What? Uh, what do you make of meddling in other people's business like an over-opinionated sociopath? Well, let me say that money could have gone to much better things like reserving a place by my side in the Pastor Richard Salvation Stack. Tommy, I really enjoyed working with you. Ain't had so much fun since the Reg Nam, pal. Anyhow, if you need anything, you call on me, you hear? I always remember those I served with, and I'm sure I can help you out, you hear? and it snows 18 feet a day. Yes, but don't you think it's important? I think it's very important to listen to me, young man. That's what makes the state of Florida great. Rather than help improve where they are, people nationwide abandon their hometowns, come down here, and shove their beliefs down everyone else's throats. That's the American way, always has been. We should send some pictures of Florida to those people in Alaska. I tell you, they'd throw down that bear pelt, saddle up the sled dogs, and get pulled all the way to my city. And I should know, I'm from Mars. No, you're not. Uh, Mars, Alabama. I founded three colleges there. The problem with Alaska is that people don't get naked. If you can't work on your car, or play the cello, or use sharp knives in your birthday suit, then what's the point of living? Uh, well, it is a bit cold there. People put on clothes when it's cold. We evolved without a warm covering of hair. That's a lie, sir. We come from the great meteor of truth. Clothes are a habit, like shaving and taking... Commune, it's so wonderful to wake up in a big bed and go to breakfast clothed in nothing but a smile. What kind of people are there in your weirdo commune? Single people, families, elderly couples, teachers, politicians, and especially truck drivers. Truck drivers understand what it's like to be by yourself for days on end with nothing but country music on the radio and a stick in your hand shifting gears over and over. Truckers realize there's nothing to be ashamed of on the open road. Get naked and beat it on down the line. You've never seen a sense of community and morality like a nudist colony. We share everything, the cooking, cleaning, wives, a shared sense of what it's like to be a complete social outcast. Oh, uh, wait right there, Barry. I'm getting something through the cats. Uh, headphones, that is. Yes? Yeah, okay. <laughs> 